my friends. Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome if you are new. I'm Cheryl. This is Table Full of Joy and we are continuing our Cinco de Mayo recipes this week. Tonight we are doing a dessert. We are having um, our life group over tonight to do our Bible study and so I decided to make something a little sweet to share with everybody tonight. So we're going to make something with some um, tortillas and some cream cheese. And friends, look at these incredible strawberries. I picked these up at our local Winco grocery store. It is a um, employee owned store. And are those not stunning? Oh my gosh, friends. I am so excited about strawberry season. <laughs> I love fresh strawberries. So these are going to be incredible. I'm going to tweak the recipe just a tiny, tiny bit because I'm going to make it fit what we want to do with it and the size that we want. They typically are made with the soft taco size tortillas. Um, we are going for small dessert tonight. Um, and so we are using the street taco size um, tortillas to make these. And that should be the only change I think I'm going to make. I think everything else is going to be the same. These are going to be incredible. I can't wait to try these. Our friends are excited about having them tonight while we do our Bible study. So that's going to be super exciting. So, but friends, before I forget, I forgot to share this in the last video. Starting this Saturday, Saturday, May 4th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. That's my time. Check it on yours and see what time that is for you guys. We are going to be starting a new series here on my channel every Saturday night from now until the end of summer until probably Labor Day. We are going to get together live and we are going to share some really great, easy recipes for spring and summer. There's going to be a really fun beverage that we're going to share with you guys every single Saturday. Sometimes it's just going to be me. Sometimes it'll be me and my husband. Sometimes it might be me and a friend. I just don't know what's going to happen. It's just we're going to we're going to go with this and see what happens. It's just going to be whatever happens. But we've got some really great, exciting recipes to share with you guys as we get ready for spring and summer. The weather is starting to change around here in the Pacific Northwest where I'm at. And so we're starting to get some beautiful sun and we're starting to get some some warmer weather. So that's got me getting all of the spring and summer vibes. I am ready for it, friends. And I'm ready to start making some really fun and easy things to entertain your friends and your family with. Nothing is going to be hard. These are all going to be super easy so that we can put them together and we can chat. That's the big thing about this about this live. So friends, tell your friends about it. Invite them to come and join for the live. I would love to have as many people on the live every Saturday as we possibly can. That would mean so much to me if we could have a huge group. Number two, bring your questions, friends. If there's something you've been wanting to know about me, please bring those questions and ask because I am happy to ask anything or answer anything that you guys want to ask me. And so make sure that you come bring your questions and let's just have a great time together. Let's have some fun and get ready for spring and summer with some really fun and exciting recipes. So friends, now for right now, let's get on with these delicious little cheesecake taquitos that we're going to make. And our friends are going to be here soon for life group. So we need to get these made. All right, so I'm only doing a half of a recipe. So the original recipe calls for two bricks of cream cheese softened. I'm only doing one. So we've got one brick of cream cheese. We need one tablespoon instead of the two tablespoons of sugar. And I'm gonna save the rest of this because we are gonna dip our tortillas and some sugar and cinnamon before we put these in the air fryer. You are supposed to put them in the oven, but I have my air fryer, so I'm gonna use that tonight. We're gonna put in just a little bit of vanilla. And we're going to use our whisk and we are just going to whisk this up and i think what i want to do friends because i want a little bit more strawberry than just the strawberry on top so i think i'm going to mince up a strawberry pretty fine i'm going to really really dice it and i'm going to fold that in here so we're going to have a little bit of strawberry in our inside our tortilla and a little bit on top so we're just gonna mix this, get that cream cheese all mixed. All right, so we're gonna put in a little bit of fresh diced strawberry. I don't wanna get too much because I don't want these to be really wet, but I want them to have a little bit of strawberry inside. So we are going to, like I said, mince this up pretty, pretty small. I want this diced pretty tiny. Because I think too big a pieces in this is going to create too much moisture. So we are just going to give this a little bit of a fine dice. 
I'm excited to eat these. I, our friends, I told them last night we were going to have a little something special tonight for our life group. We normally just put out some, you know, cheese and crackers and meats and that kind of stuff, but we're doing something a little bit special tonight. No special reason, just, just doing it. But I think this is going to be amazing. And I think that just this one strawberry is going to be plenty inside. Because like I said, I don't want to get too much. Because we'll end up having way too much moisture inside our tortilla. And the tortilla just will not get crispy. Let's just give this a fold. So, as I said, I think that is plenty of um, strawberry in there. I don't think we need any more of that because I don't want a whole lot of moisture in this. So, I've got one plate here. We're going to put our sugar down. We're going to put on some cinnamon. Gonna use my fork and just kind of mix that. Because we are going to roll our tortillas in this once we get them filled with our cheesecake mixture. We've got a little bit of butter here, and this is we're gonna melt our butter. We're gonna roll our tortillas in the butter, then in the cinnamon and sugar, and then they're gonna go right directly into the air fryer. So we end up with nice, crispy crunchy tortillas with our delicious cheesecake filling in there and then we're going to have some fresh strawberries that we're going to serve right on top all right friends we've got our i'm just doing eight of these little dessert taquitos so i went ahead and warmed these in the microwave for um, 20 seconds just to get them a little bit more pliable a little bit softer because we all know how tortillas can be when you take them out of the package so we're just going to get these spread out. We're just going to put a little bit of our filling on each one of these. I don't want to overfill them because then it would just all ooze out everywhere. It'll just be a mess. But you definitely want enough filling that you know what you're eating. And I think I'm going to like the strawberry that we put inside the filling instead of just leaving it the plain cheesecake filling. I think that little extra strawberry is going to be really, really tasty. I'm excited to eat these. Something a little bit different for Cinco de Mayo if you're having a... I mean, these aren't hard, so you could make a large batch of these. But these would be fun if you're having just a, you know, a few friends over for a Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo party. Um, these would be super fun to, to serve. We're going to serve these on a, on a board with um, some, we have some diced strawberries right here that I just put just a little bit of sugar in them just to kind of get them a little bit sweet, just in case the strawberries are a little tart. Um, all right, I'm going to use my spatula to scrape the rest off the spoon. I'm just going to go ahead and divide this up between the rest or between these tortillas might as well go ahead and use it all. We're just going to divide this between our tortillas. I really like this cheesecake filling. I think this would be super tasty for a lot of things over, let's see, it was several months ago we had an ice storm here. In fact, Tony and I were just talking about this last night. We did a really fun dessert, and I couldn't remember what it was. We did tacos. We did some really fun dessert tacos um, that you use a muffin tin and you use the small. We used actually large tortillas, and um, we took the large tortillas and uh, cut rounds out of them and then put those rounds in between the, the spots on a muffin tin and... Um, cook those in the oven and then we filled them. I had some apple pie filling in the fridge that needed to be used. 
So we used apple pie filling and some whipped cream and those turned out amazing. So I think you could probably do those same tacos um, and then do this cheesecake filling I think would be amazing in those. So as you can see, we're just getting these tortillas rolled up with our cheesecake filling in them. We're gonna melt our butter. We've got some butter on a plate. We're gonna melt our butter. We're gonna roll these in the butter, then in the cinnamon and sugar, and they're gonna go on our pan that's gonna go in our air fryer, and we're gonna cook these, and they're gonna come out, and they're gonna be super crispy, really, really tasty. This is gonna be a fun little dessert to treat our life group to tonight. All right, so it's not gonna take a whole lot of butter, so I just did a little bit. I can always do a little more if I need to, but we've got our taquito. We're gonna roll this around in the melted butter, put this in the cinnamon and sugar, give that a really good roll. You wanna put these seam side down Otherwise, they will probably come apart. If you're cooking them in the oven or with an air fryer, whatever it is you're cooking in, they're probably going to come apart if you don't put them seam side down. So let's just take this one and roll this in our cinnamon and sugar. And I'm trying not to do a ton of cinnamon sugar on these because I think we've got enough sweetness with our cheesecake filling. I might have to get another tray out. Might have to do two pans of these, but that's okay. These are gonna go in our air fryer and they're gonna cook for about 15 minutes. Here is our first pan of our, you can hear, first pan of our cheesecake taquitos. They smell incredible, they're extremely hot. I'm not going to bite into these right now. We're gonna put these over on our board. We're gonna serve these to our life group tonight as they come over, so we do our Bible study and we're gonna have a sweet little treat to share with them. These are gonna be incredible. Hope you guys will try this recipe. This was just a really fun, easy recipe that I found that I wanted to share with you guys for Cinco de Mayo week. Make these for your friends and family. Enjoy these. These are going to be super tasty. I love the addition of the strawberries in the cheesecake mixture versus just having sliced strawberries on top. We are going to do that as I showed you the bowl, but I love having the strawberries inside the cheesecake mixture itself. Gives you another layer of strawberry, a little extra flavor. I think it's going to make them super incredible. So friends, thank you so much for joining me today as we made a fun Cinco de Mayo recipe, taquitos, a dessert taquito. I hope you guys will make this recipe. I'll leave the link in the description box with the changes that I made to it so you guys can do either the original or my version of these. We've got more pan in the oven or the air fryer right now. Those will be ready here soon. And friends, if you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button up there. We would love to have you a part of our YouTube family. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Do not forget this Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are starting our new spring and summer series. We're gonna join you guys. We're gonna do some fun spring and summer beverages, some recipes to share with you guys to get you ready for spring and summer with all the summer parties, all the things, gatherings and everything. So don't miss out on that. We'd love to see you guys there. As I said before, come with your questions because I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. And friends, we'll talk to you guys in the comments. Have a great day and God bless.